Question number six says that an isosceles triangle has a perimeter 30 centimeters and each of its equal sides is 12 centimeters. We have to find the area of this triangle. So let's first draw a triangle. Two of its equal sides are 12 centimeters and 12 centimeters and let the third unknown side be x centimeters. Now we can find the area of this triangle by Heron's formula for which we should know the value of x first. So let's find that. For that we first write the perimeter of the given triangle to be equal to 30 centimeters as given in the question. Now a perimeter is found by adding up all the three sides. So let's add 12 plus 12 plus x and equate it to 30. So from this we can get the value of x to be equal to 6 centimeters. Now that we have found the third side, our next step is to find the semi-perimeter S for this triangle, which is nothing but half the perimeter. So we can simply divide 30 by 2 and we can get the semi-perimeter S to be equal to 15 centimeters. Now that we know all the parameters, we may write the Heron's formula by which we can find the area of this triangle. So let's write A to be equal to under root S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C, where S is the semi-perimeter as we all know and A, B, C are the three sides of this given triangle. As we know all these values already, let's plug them in and we get under root 15 times 15 minus 12 times 15 minus 12 times 15 minus 6. On further calculation, we get that as 15 times 3 times 3 times 9. So now that gives us the area, the required area of this triangle to be equal to 9 root 15 centimeter square. And that is the answer for this question. To know more about how QMath can help you become a master of math, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program taught by highly experienced and committed teachers.